at the moisture, a little bit of that humidity. We saw a heat index today. In fact, we have one right now. It just feels a few degrees warmer. But even the cloudy skies and some spotty rain showers here and there didn't stop people from going out to the zoo over the holiday weekend. And Connor Prairie as well with a few events going on today. And also open again for business tomorrow. It looks like at the end of the day here, some people started heading out for some events over at Connor Prairie and Fishers. 80 degrees right now as you head out the door in Indianapolis. It does feel just a couple degrees warmer there with our dew point temperatures rising into the upper 60s and some even hitting in the lower 70s. Our highs today all in the low 80s and upper 70s, so pretty close to seasonal temperatures right where we should be. 82 degrees is normal for this time of year. Pretty soon here it's going to start going down and down once we get to September. We're going to be talking about temperatures in the 70s real soon. Over the next few hours into our Monday for Labor Day, we're expecting those highs to bounce right back up into the upper 70s and low 80s, depending on cloud coverage throughout the day, but spotty showers and then thunderstorms are expected once again for tomorrow. It doesn't look like it's going to be as widespread or as intense as especially what we saw yesterday, but still showers present through the weekend that we're going to continue to time out for you here in just a minute. On our live guardian radar, just a few isolated showers here close to downtown, but other than that, not looking at any activity across the board. We do have some thunderstorms now entering onto the western portion of central Indiana, but outside of that remaining dry. Muncie recorded over a tenth of an inch of rainfall today. Our totals pale in comparison, a lot of zeros showing up on the board. This was what we saw yesterday, especially for southern and southeastern portions of the state, seeing the heaviest downpours and flash flooding, inches of rain, about three inches fell in just such a short amount of time there. And we talked about Jefferson County earlier in the newscast. Radar indicated over five inches of rain fell there yesterday, so a lot of uh, heavy totals here coming in from our Saturday rainfall event. Bloomington over an inch of rain and remembering where we've been just in the summer months with the rainfall deficit close to four inches. It's nice that we're starting to get some of this rain, but we really don't want it to come all at once like it's been happening. So last couple of hours on our satellite and radar showing the cloudy overcast skies at times with thunderstorms just in the western central portion of the state. And over the next few hours, we're going to expect a, maybe an isolated thunderstorm here across central Indiana and along I-70. And then it starts to slow down overnight, but more storms, unfortunately, are in the forecast as we head into Labor Day for tomorrow. Now, this doesn't look like quite as intense, but by 3.30 in the afternoon, spotty showers. We could get an isolated storm out of this. So rain's going to be present, but there's also going to be a lot of opportunity for dry time throughout the day as well, and even some sunshine breaking through. Light rain chances remain with us all throughout the weekend and the start of of next week. So we're looking at temperatures remaining into those lower 80s and then we dry out a little bit better by Wednesday. But even here by this point in the forecast, small chances for rain does exist here from Wednesday on through Friday. We do start to once we finally kind of dry things out a little bit better. More storm chances return for us for next weekend. So it's nice after we did have that four inch rainfall deficit from the summer months that we are certainly starting the month of September off with much better numbers here. Highs remain in the low 80s for the first part of the week and then we warm things back up by next weekend. Thanks Alyssa coming